talked about the other night. Uh, your team looked at like it had something to prove out there the other night with uh, kind of some some more injury bugs. Well, I think that they are just on a. Uh, I think that it's the, that point in the season where we have to really be focused on trying to get to the conference tournament, and we can't stump our toes anymore. And so I think that they were just very um, motivated and focused on trying to get that W. And obviously, with some adversity again um, throughout the season, but um, I think that they really handled it well, and, and everybody stepped up. And coming into practice today, this, uh, this, what do you keep telling your team? Well, this is the crunch time. Two games left. And yeah. I guess what you're talking about now. Well, we got to. We have to continue to build momentum. You know, we we want to put ourselves in the best situation possible going into Bartlesville, and you want to do that coming off victories. You know, it's really tough when you lose a ball game to, to feel good about what's going on. So we really want to play well. We want, we want to be playing our best basketball um, right now. Coach. Sure. After the whole thing with Ariel, do you guys feel a little snake fit almost? <laughs> well, I would say that we have had certainly our share of adversity, that's for sure. But um, but I think it's been really um, powerful for this team. I think that they are, have done things that they never thought they could do, and some individuals have probably performed at a level that they didn't anticipate performing at this early in their career. And um, I think some of our returners have had to really step up and, and take some different leadership roles. And, um, you know, we have taken the approach all year long. What doesn't kill us only makes us stronger, and I think that's what you've seen. Uh, Coach, how heavy is the LFC tournament weighing on the team at this point? I, you know, I don't think it's that big a deal as far as um, being a burden. I mean, we're excited about it, and, and that the situation that we're in right now, after all the adversity we've been through, we're really pleased with, with our position. Um, again, we don't want to overlook this week. It's hard to, to think about next week um, with these two games still in, in the forefront. So we've got to take care of business, and, and we're just treating this week like a normal week in conference, and um, Incarnate Word is our biggest game right now. What, with the win last week, uh, it kind of solidified that y'all uh, have y'all's fate in y'all's own hands. Uh, talk a little bit about that and how nice that is, not not worrying about what right. other people have to do. Well, you certainly don't want to have to depend on other teams to have to beat people or lose um, to help you in the positioning for the conference tournament. So it's nice that we are in control right now of our destiny and um, that, that we just want to like I said, continue to get better and, and uh, hopefully stay focused and, and really put together some of our best basketball in the next couple of weeks. I don't feel like we have – I think there have certainly been spurts, but even when you look back at the Tarleton game and as well as we thought we played, I think that Jamie had a great night and, and some people around her did, but I don't think that we all had great nights, and it will be fun to watch and see when that occurs. Coach Arnett, where you said you're focused right now? Kind of scouting report a little bit for them. Well, Incarnate Word um, has gone through some adversity as well. They're a little bit, uh, their roster's a little bit shorter than the first time we've played it, played them. But um, they're very post-oriented, very young, um, so they're hungry. This is their new, their their first time in our conference. So um, I know Angela's doing a really good job about preaching to them about you know this is what it's all about. We got to position ourselves to to even improve for next season. And and her team is so young that. Um, you know, we're going to have to do a good job of, of making them um, be frustrated early. They're very athletic in the post, and um, they have a really nice point guard in Cook. So we're going to have to um, put forth one of our best defensive efforts. Jamie, you talk about you guys look like you were on a mission a little bit Saturday night. You know, with the loss of Ariel, just looked like you guys were out for something. It looked like showing something to prove. Yeah, um, we were. We were on a little revenge because uh, last time we played Midwest, we got through by Midwest and, um, at their home court. So, yeah, of course, we came in with a little, you know, a little revenge on our mind. And you guys look good. I mean, how, when you guys are playing like that, are you tough to beat? Um, absolutely. I think when everybody shows up to play, I think we're a very tough team to beat. Um, you know, it's, it's very hard. Uh, give us a scouting report on Incarnate Word. Uh, what kind of things are you going to have to uh, do to, to be successful uh, going against Incarnate Word? Um, rebounding and um, going on the road. So that's basically uh, what we got on the road and rebounds. Besides Megan, you've kind of taken a leadership role um, with a lot of young players like this you know, I mean, in the loss of area. What do you kind of tell them to keep, keep their focus? Keep I'm, I'm more of a... Uh, I, I encourage them. That's what I do. Um, we, we've had a lot, of, lots of meetings about uh, encouraging, and you know, we get frustrated even encouraging. And that's a role that I had to take on, and I, I had to also learn this year too. Um, when things not going well, you know, there's no need to, you know, be mad at each other, and, you know, nag and pick at each other. You know, always encourage. So that's, that's something that I had to learn, and that's something that I wanted to carry on with them, and you know, teach them how to do as well.